Hello my friends, Stark here. Today is the 17th of February 2016. Let's talk about Chrysler oil pumps. This oil pump is manufactured by Melling, very common oil pump manufacturer and you'll find these pumps available in most of the aftermarket parts shops. This particular pump is for Chrysler small block V8 engines, the 318 and the 360 engine. Both use the same oil pump. Did you ever read the warning on the leaflet that's included with the pump? When installing this model pump, you must make sure that the mounting neck is fully inserted into the bushing hole in the bearing cap and remains inserted while the mounting bolts are being installed and fully tightened down. Failure to do the above will probably cause any or all of the following. 1. Fracture the mounting neck. 2. Break the drive shaft. 3. Crack the mounting pad. or 4. Destroy the engine. They are not joking. You can see here that the drive is cracked in four places and that the neck is also cracked here. And we can compare that to a good one. So this is the same pump and it was improperly installed. Just in case you're that unlucky guy that buys a poorly manufactured pump that may be partially or fully seized then I would recommend that you take a 5 sixteenths hex drive insert into the oil pump and just check that the pump rotates freely this one's moving nicely. We're not saying that this pump will build pressure. Not a foolproof test, but at least we know the pump isn't seized. This is our subject vehicle, a 1997 Dodge Ram van with a 318 or 5.2 liter small block V8 engine. All right, here's the pump with the oil pickup tube attached and there's a gauze on the underside. Here is the six-sided drive rod which operates the oil pump. Let's raise it into place, Jason. Putting the two bolts in now. So before those bolts are tightened, we'll need to ensure that the mating surfaces separated by the gasket are completely flat. So this surface between the engine block and the oil pump need to have that completely flat. OK. 
Okay, tighten it down little by little, swapping between each one. Real tight. Okay, looks good. The mating surfaces of the block and the oil pump must be dead flat. That's this surface here. And the two bolts that secure the oil pump should be tightened evenly, just a little at a time, swap between one and the other. And here's the new oil pump in place. So now we'll want to rotate the engine gently just to be sure that our newly fitted oil pump isn't in a jam. Feel any uh, any more resistance or pressure than before? No. That seems to be good. All right, oil pan and exhaust have been refitted. New oil pan gasket, fresh engine oil and filter, and a brand new starter. Why not? All right, my friends, job done. Let's start her up. But I caution you that she's making a foul noise. That noise, however, is not coming from the engine. It's coming from between the engine and the transmission. So I suspect either a cracked flex plate or perhaps the flex plate is colliding with the inspection cover. But that wasn't the purpose of this video, huh? This is an oil pump video, so let's watch the oil pressure warning light switch off when we start the engine. Dreadful noise. Well, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Chrysler 318 oil pump replacement. Take care. See you next time. Hey. I thought you might want to hear the engine without that dreadful noise. So the problem was the inspection plate or cover plate between the engine and transmission. And here's where the flex plate was colliding with the cover plate abrading. This entire portion of the cover plate is bent and so the easier solution was simply to chop it out and then shim the starter to retain factory clearance. The remainder of the cover plate is back on the vehicle doing its job. All right, let's start her up again and check whether she sounds any sweeter.
Much better. All right, I'm done. Over and out.